In this video, we're going to go over how to do multiple choice questions in Qualtrics. Go ahead and log into your Qualtrics account and click on the survey that you're working on. I'm going to go ahead and open the test survey that I created earlier. To create a new question in a survey, you're just going to hit this green plus button that says create a new question. Generally speaking, a multiple choice question is going to be the default question that will come up. If you want to change the type of question that appears on the screen, you can either go over here to where it says change question type, click on this green arrow, it'll give you a bunch of different options for questions. We'll go over how to do a couple of these in later videos. Or when you create the new question, you can go ahead and just clarify right then and there what kind of question you want. So when working with multiple choice questions, you know, generally you're going to ask your respondent a question and have them either pick one answer, which is a single answer multiple choice question, or you can have them do multiple answers, which would be a multiple answer multiple choice question. So the first question we'll create, we'll do a single answer multiple choice question, and we'll ask participants what their favorite color is. I just clicked where it says click to write the question text, and we'll just say what is your favorite color? We'll give participants seven choices, so to change the number of choices in your question, you want to go over here to the right side of the screen. Right now we have three. You want to click the plus button to add more choices, or you can click this button to take away choices. So we'll click the plus until we get to seven. And we'll just do the colors of the rainbow. Yellow. And again, I'm just clicking to write choice six, just like how we did for the question. I'm also going to add an other option. Some multiple choice questions, you might want to have this option if you're writing a list like I did here. If someone's favorite color wasn't one of the six that I wrote, you can have them select other and type out their own questions. So you can put a text box in if you want. To do this, you're going to hit the answer, click this down arrow, and just select allow text entry. And a text box will appear next to the answer, so that way if respondents wanted to type in what their favorite question was, they'd have the option to do so. So let's say you wanted to ask people, you know, to check all that apply in a situation. So if we wanted to ask someone what are their favorite types of food, since we're asking types, we will obviously want them to choose more than one. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and create a new multiple choice question. And we'll phrase the question, what are your favorite types of food? we will say, please check all that apply. Generally good to add that statement for a check all that apply question just so participants know that you want them to select multiple choices. So we'll do five choices. So we'll go up here and make sure that we have five. I'm gonna go ahead and type them in. We can do American, Italian, Asian, Mexican, and then we'll also do our other, and we're gonna go ahead and allow text entry. So to change this from a single answer to multiple answer, we're gonna go to the right here where it says answers and just hit multiple answer. You'll see that these little boxes will come up and that it allows people to check more than one, which is what you want them to do. And I check all that apply question if more than one of these are their favorite types of food. So one of the great things about Qualtrics that Qualtrics will do for you for multiple choice, if you were asking respondents about levels of satisfaction, how happy they are about something, or you know their opinions on a scale from like to dislike, Qualtrics can automate those answers for you once you type a question. So I'm gonna create a new multiple choice question, and I'm gonna ask, how much do you like American food? So what Qualtrics is gonna see is they're gonna see that I said, how much do you like? So when I click out of this, it's going to go ahead and give me a scale from dislike a great deal to like a great deal. It did that by automatic choices. If you want to change the scale, if you don't want to use like or dislike, even though let's see if you want to ask something else, you can go here to where it says dislike and like, click this menu, and you'll get a whole list of different scales that you can use. But since we already asked about how much do you like, we're going to keep the dislike and like scale for this question. You can again change the number of choices depending on how big or small you want your scale to be. And if you don't want automatic choices, let's say you ask a question that would involve a scale, but you want to put your own answers in, you can just uncheck the box where it says automatic choices and edit your answers from there. And that's all we're going to cover for multiple choice questions. And in our next video, we're going to go over how to do some more detailed questions.